here's the parent tank with the adult glowfish. These are probably about a year old. I've had them since February. It's November. I don't know how long they were at the pet store. I have four glowfish in here. There they are. This is a community tank. It's a 30 gallon tank with four glowfish. I have three Cory cats and an algae eater. The algae eater is always hiding and I'm worried someday it's going to get too big. But I will move it if it's necessary. All the plants that I use in the aquarium now are life plants. And uh, I'm noticing that I think that the fish are happier with the life plants. I don't have to change the water quite as often. I still try to do it every 7 to 10 days, just 10-20% uh, water change. Here's a quick view of the Cory Cats along with the Algae Eater. The Algae Eater was really tiny when I got it, but it's gained probably a couple of inches in size and the pet store told me it was good for a community tank. I'm reading otherwise. I've seen reports where they get really big. It's a Chinese algae eater. I don't know if this one will get big or aggressive like they say. It is doing okay with the Cory cats and the glowfish. Glowfish are too quick and they, are, they swim at a different level so they're not much of an issue but I'm worried about the Cory cats but we'll just see how it goes. I have a background paper. It just makes it good to look at for us humans. I don't know if it makes a difference for the fish. Who knows? Just like to have a pretty looking tank. And thank you for watching my glowfish video. The tank kind of looks empty, but I'm hoping to fill it up more with plants and when my baby glowfish grow, I have seven fry. I will add them to the community tank. I think the tank will still be okay because glowfish are pretty small overall. This is about the maximum size. They're no more than two inches, maybe one and a half to two inches long, and this is the maximum size. So we'll see. Thank you for watching the video. These are the adult parent glowfish. The video has no magnification at this point. I will zoom in a little bit a little later on. I just want everybody to get a perspective on this size. This is approximately right here the distance that I was holding the camera for the baby fry. This is a community tank. It's a 30 gallon tank with four glowfish, three salt and pepper cory cats, one Chinese algae eater. I do not like to overpopulate my tank, uh, but when the fry get bigger, I did not expect to have baby fish or fry. I will have to move them to this tank because the, they are currently, I have seven fry in a 10 gallon and they're about three weeks old. They're still extremely tiny and one of these ca uh, fish would eat them in a heartbeat. So I have to wait a little while before I can move them to the community tank here. And uh, these are the parents. Uh, the yellow is the mom. The blue is the more streamlined one so you can tell it's a male. And uh, the babies of the glowfish they retain the color of the parents. 
so the color will be exactly like the parents and uh, from what I'm reading it'll take at least a good three four months before I can put the baby back in the parent tank because otherwise um, it'll be they'll be eaten my salt and pepper cory cats and the algae eater they'll eat just about anything and all the sites I've visited say that the fry should be bigger than the biggest mouth in the tank so I have to wait a little while since my algae eater is kind of big and I've heard they can get aggressive although uh, they're supposed to be herbivores they will eat just about anything or pick at anything if it's slow I have to just wait till my fry grow up and bring them to this tank there's a background paper no it doesn't look uh, this pretty without the paper and all the plants in this tank are live Zoom in on the algae eater. There he is. It's kind of early in the morning. These fish are always spawning, and you can see some interesting behavior here. I have never found any cory cat eggs in my aquarium. It's kind of strange how the glowfish lay eggs all the time apparently and uh, they just get eaten. So I was lucky to have seven baby fry. I don't know if I said this, but there's four glowfish, three curry cats, and one Chinese algae eater in this tank. It's a 30 gallon tank. In here, I have a narrow leaf Java grass, I mean Java fern, have water wisteria, Amazon sword, and I believe that little one on the right is called water plantain. But I do not know for sure. I hate not knowing my plant names. I will have to look that one up now. Somehow that fish is orange and it looks pink in this camera, I'm noticing that. Not the best camera in the world. <laughs> 